two of my favorite tips if you want to save a ton of money and you don't want to get ripped off for Black Friday. Why did I decide to do my eyebrows right now? I don't know. Keep receipts for absolutely everything. A lot of things start going on sale a couple weeks before Black Friday and you're like, oh gosh, do I get it now? Do I wait for Black Friday? You wait for Black Friday, it doesn't go on sale. It was only on sale during that first week. So if it is a must have item on your list, something that people actually want, not just random stuff on sale that you're like, that's a good deal, should I, should I? No, something that's actually on your list, then go ahead and make sure the store has a good return policy. Buy it now, don't take it out of the box, don't wrap it or anything. And then if it goes on sale for Black Friday, for even cheaper than what you paid for it, if it's from the same store, a lot of stores will honor and reimburse you the price difference. Check out what their policy is on that. But otherwise, just return the item and go buy it cheaper for Black Friday. But then you have the stress-free knowledge of having your child's favorite gift of the year, whatever it was. For all my Canadian babes, you need to do points. PC Optimum points. I did not do those until I was living here for about two years. I thought it was too complicated, too weird. No, I have only been doing them since July, get collecting points. And just from doing my grocery shopping, I also got like the PC Optimum financial card so I could, you know, sometimes stack up points. Oh my gosh, we are going to be able with our points just from grocery shopping since July and not spending any more than we would have spent had we not used the PC Optimum card, we're gonna have enough to get our kids a free Nintendo Switch for Christmas. Right before Christmas in Ontario and in a lot of other parts of Canada, PC Optimum in Shoppers Drug Mart, I believe it's like Pharma Pre in Quebec, that's when they have their best points redemption. So we're only gonna have like a certain amount of dollars worth of points, but those points are worth way more during these redemption events. And the Black Friday is the event where you get the most. So that's when we're gonna be buying our Switch for free. Check out secondhand stores. There's a lot of things you need to buy all year round anyways. And I've just recently this year learned that a lot of thrift stores do special deals for Black Friday, like everything half off in the entire store. There is a toy consignment shop not too far from where we live, where I went in the other day for the first time and the lady was like, you should probably come back next Friday because for a few months before Christmas, we stock all of the gifts and like all of the toys people give us that are new in box and we keep them back so that we can like Black Friday weekend, people can buy like used brand new gifts to give as gifts for Christmas. That store is called Once Upon a Child, by the way. And if you're in Europe, something that you can kind of do is check out what the Black Friday deals are in like neighboring countries on Amazon, have them ship to you. And sometimes even with the cost of shipping, they'll end up being way, way cheaper than if you were to buy it at Amazon in the country where you live.